eventually. Oh, hello everyone. Oh, sorry. Try and move my frame into the right spot. There we go. Alright, let me just find the video. Um, I found one of my paint palettes though, so now I'm going to have to use the mat. Which is nice. Here we go. And we are all good. Yay, we're there. Excellent. All right, this was last week's class. Uh, no, I have not made the Expedia bundle for it yet live on Shopify. I mean, on um, our online store. I may have forgotten. I will be doing that after class tonight, along with the one that we used tonight. So, sorry about that one. But, yeah, that was last week's class. So, if it won't be tonight, it will be tomorrow night. Uh, because, yeah. I've got to take some photos of the products that we used. Okay. So next up for this week, we're back in our art journal. No, we never card last week. Uh, back in our art journal this week. Back in our yellow one. Actually, I did. It looks amazing. I loved it before I hopped on. I did see it quickly while I was at the um, dentist surgery today, but I... Uh, was oh, Gordon. Wow, well, there you go. I must be telling you that you're hungry. Wow. So we've got a few things we're going to use tonight. Well, I think we're going to use it all. We might not. I've got two border stencils. I've got a plus and a minus, and this really cool honeycomb one. And then I've got oh, hello Raquel and Debbie and Pam and Di and Annie Robin and Diana. I think, yeah, Diana. Oh, Diane, sorry, pronounced your name wrong. And then we've got this piece of rice paper. And then we've also got a piece of rice paper that's denim. So I think it'll look nice in the end. Hopefully. We shall see. So we could just mm. and if we go that way we'll get the most out of our sheet and then I'm just trying to think Right. Let's get sticking. So if we just come in first and we get rid of our white border on our rice paper. So we're just going to put a little bit of water on the edge. And let's come in and rip that bit off. And then if we come and do it over here as well. in you know how jeans get holy we make a few of those in our actual denim by just wetting a few random spots this is going to be like our main background piece I think I think I think I think
Yeah. Okay, so we've got a few hollies. And then I actually just had a really cool idea. What if we made our art journal page into like a frame? So what we do is, is we cut a hole out of here. And it's like then leaves a space for us to make it into a frame. I think that'd be cool. Let's see how we go about this. We need to put a cutting mat. Is everyone okay if we do that? If we make this into like a frame and it comes into a frame that like kind of spreads out to our page there. Like the other option is, is that we make a full frame that goes across two pages or... We just do this one here. I think it's up to you. Um, but everyone will go with that. I got a thumbs up. Oh, hello, Diane G and DC Creations over on YouTube. Um, and everyone else who's watching who's got fun at currently. Um, let's see. We definitely want to this one. Oh, there it is. Oh, so we've got my cutting mat. It's quite another one. It's a bit dusty because I haven't used it in a while. Uh, trying to lose my fault. Yes. And let's see. I reckon about an inch should give us what we want. And we're going to use our tea ruler. So this should help us get us on the right track. This might have been done easier if it we were on a flat surface, but you know. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to be using the flowers. And I think it'll look really cool with our gun nut stamp. Because I know that's an inch wide, so we can just use that as an inch all the way around. So now we've got an inch frame. Can I put that down? No, either with a craft knife or a scaffold or scissors. We're just going to come in. Funny feeling that these scissors are blunt. Ah. Of course they are. I've used them on something. It's a little bit funny, isn't it? Okay, Mum's craft knife. Let's come in and use them now. We go and we've got ourselves a hole. Look at that. 
And it says I was using blunt scissors originally. We've got this little bit of a fuzzy bit here. Again. Got a bit of a fuzzy bit there. Because, yeah. We'll part of the learning process. Don't use blunt scissors. All right, so let's put our denim in now. Oh, I do like. And then if we use the rest of our denim maybe and like piece it together out on the edges here. But if we paint white on this one here and if we use like a different color underneath here maybe oh a bright yellow to match our flowers just to or an orange i reckon a bright yellow though to match our flowers would look really nice and might make it pop a little bit and give us some backing of our color or maybe a pastel it depends bright yellow can be really hard because it can become quite uh tedious i don't know if that's the right word it just gets really it, it becomes like over bright so we've got this lemon yellow we've got this one here i do i do like this pastel marigold i will admit it is becoming a favorite of mine and i've only used it once and um then we've got this pastel yellow i think this one might be get a little bit lost like it'll look really cool but i just don't know if it will I think that one's a no-go, the pastel yarn. All the colours really don't matter with what you're using. You can use whatever you want realistically, but I do think this would be bright, but I, I think this pastel marigold would be amazing. I'm not going to lie. I do like this colour. It has worn on me. What do you reckon? Pastel marigold all the way. I reckon. Let's have a go, shall we? So we're just going to come in and make sure our paintbrush is just a little bit wet. Well, it's the wet from the rice paper technique. I'm just going to come in and spread that out. So when we get full coverage on the front there. And then what we're going to come and do, I think it was this way. Yep. So we stick this down where it needs to go. that and then rip off the excess okay if you're not really comfortable with ripping you're just a little bit unsure on yourself you can just come in and do the wet rust paper effect and by putting that paint down it means we don't actually have to break out our glue yet we will on a few of these areas, like this one here, this hasn't stuck in this corner here. But we're just going to come and stick it down in that corner. And that's just because it dried before we stuck it down. It's completely understandable because we're going into the summer months. Okay. So we got that there now, all nice and stuck.
There we are. And then what we might come and do is we're going to make it so that our frame has a little bit of lift in it. So we're going to grab our modelling paste, flip over this bit, and we want to make sure that we've got a piece of plastic in the middle so then we don't get modelling paste on our other page. It's okay if you want modelling paste on the other page, then you don't have to put the piece of um, glad bag down or um, a spare piece of paper you're going to put down or anything like that. You can just come in and do it. But I'm going to definitely put down a spare piece of paper. There we go. Here's one I've used before. And then we're just going to grab our palette knife. And this is just regular modeling paste. I know, Cindy, it's a beautiful color, isn't it? It just, I do like pastel marigold. And it has seeped through our rice paper, which is why we put it down. So it just gives our rice paper some more of that, I, I guess, like a rustic effect. And then we're going to come in and layer up a modeling paste on the back of our frame. There we go. And then we lift up and over. And we're not going to press too hard down. This is going to make sure it sticks, but we're not going to like pancake it. As then our modeling paste will all come out. And we want there to be a bit of a lift. So I'll show you what I mean, what I mean by a bit of a lift. So we've got a bit of a lift and all of our gaps there. So we're just going to come in and lightly press to make sure it's stuck and then come in nope, we might just that. So any bits that do actually come over, we're just going to come in and make them a part of it and make it look intentional. There we are. So we're already looking pretty good, I think. And while we let that dry just for a little bit before we come and do our tissue paper around the actual frame again, what we're going to come and do is we're just putting the lid on our modeling paste. Move our backing piece off to one side. I had some modeling paste left in that back in piece. One minute. Let's just let's not be wasteful. Yeah. Stick him back down. Come over there. This one over that way. And now just put that one to one side and let's grab out our extra piece of 
Where did the middle piece go? Where should I just put it out? Oh, up here. Alright. I'm going to use our middle piece. Not our stamp. And let's grab out a colour. How does everyone feel? Okay, so we're going to have, obviously we've got this pastel marigold in here. And then we've got these bouquets. And I kind of want to do a few of these gum nuts stamps and then cut out like coming out I guess and over like this way but and then like have our florals going down and out of here type thing but what color should we do them for them to stand out because our florals are purple red and yellow a backgrounds pastel the this is blue. I was thinking for like a dark green maybe. Like I've got that dark green there. Or do we go for something lighter? I think this would get lost this desert though. I do have pitch, which is full on black, which might go. Maybe. Dependable. Probably not actually. Probably not now that I think about it. Nope. Oh, we got. We could just go really out there and do like ultramarine blue. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Hard choices. Hard, 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 hard choices. Maybe. Oh. Hold on, let me see what other colors I've got. I should have a few more colors. No. Let's grab out the orange. The green. Yeah, let's do the green and then we'll get going on the rest of our things. So we're just gonna come in and look. Like I said, I found one of my paint palettes. I present to you a miracle. Just come in and rubbing our finger along there. Got full coverage as you can see on our stamp. It's gonna go one, two, Look how good they look. I do like it. And then I reckon Chimel. Actually, no, three more because six is an even number. Well, we're going to be stamping two more anyway because we always have enough ink on there for two. Now we have our gum nuts. Look how cute they look. I do like them. I think they look kind of cool. Right, so while we leave them to dry, 
we still just needs a little bit more time before we do anything to it so let's come and get out our bouquets out of our rice paper let's grab our paintbrush and water we're going to use it quite a thin paintbrush for this one just because it's easier come around that way and we have a bit of a border around them but we can just come in and fill that out while it's still wet but is tugging on it. See? Rice paper is not an exact science. It's not a science at all. It's just like trial and error, getting to know what you're comfortable with. Hello, daughter. Hello, Dad. Would you like to see our gummits? Hey. Wow. What did you get? I know, right? Good night, daughter. Good night, Dad. I'll see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. <laughs> Yeah. There we go. And let's come in and break this one up as well. Another one. There we go. Keep going. I kind of just want to do all of them so then I've got enough to play with. Once we get back onto the page, I don't really want to have to come back and do any more. There we go, and then the next one. Just come in.
And there we go. And then there we are. Oh, hello, Chloe. Just trying to get these ones. We have a busy day today at the shop. Still trying to get it to look like a store again. Um, and yeah. It's just bit of a work in progress we nearly got the structure together because we had to edit again to get the puzzle to fit we have to do it um quite regularly but meh it works it's good um, Right, I'm just trying to get some of that See how well the internet is on the Bruce Island. I know it drops off um, just after, um, just between Gilders and Chin, um, Childers and Jinjin going south and a, and a few other places as well. But I could not tell you going north. Sorry. Right, so we've got those ones there all dealt with now. So they do have a bit of an edge, but I'll help us bleed them into the design on our page here. And then we're just going to come in with a pair of scissors and cut out our gum nuts. So I'm just going to quickly come in. So there's one. I'm just trying to make sure I get my scraps of them off to that side.
Oh, I do like these ones. I have cut them out, but I like them just because look at the texture that one has. I think it looks more like realistic if more than these solid ones, but I do like the solids as well. I think I might use one less solid though, so then we've only got seven gun knobs instead of eight. Just because, um, as uh, like the way it goes, that um, our numbers work best. They just look more. I was gonna say evenly spaced out. That would be an oxymoron. Um, more complete. Okay, let's grab these ones here. So our colours, those are the two notes. Well, that might be a maybe. And uh, let's put this one here. And where is our gel medium? There it is. We're just going to come in with our gel matte medium. Get our tube. Get a fair amount of it out. Come in and with our spare bits of rice paper from our denim, just going to come in, stick them down. Now that we've got a little, a little bit more dry. And we'll start to see the two different colours of our rice paper, remembering to put some on the back of our rice paper. Somewhere we're going to put it. And then some glue on top, making our glue sandwich. Okay. Nearly done, I think, the patchwork effect, and then we'll come in and do some stenciling, I reckon, next. We're adding a little bits and pieces. So this is what we look like so far. Let me lift it up so they can see. The denim overlay. I do like it. I think it looks pretty cool. But it's time for the next step. So what we're going to do is we're just going to move that bit over there and that bit over there. And let's grab out our two stencils. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to slide this honeycomb one right in if possible. 
and then grab the tube. The top here. There we go. There we go. Just sprinkle it all with that sponge. Uh, and then just do it in a few spots over here. And up here. And then what we're going to come and do is we're just going to put some black down. And then Put our stencil down with our plus and minus of our pluses. And so we're going to apply this with our palette knife. Clean one. Just one straight down in one direction. Works easier that way than um, going multiple ways when using a border stencil and that piece of rice paper was not fully stuck. <laughs> Okay, right, we're going to let that dry before we come and try and fix that. And this will just become a swishing nightmare. Oh dear, I've mixed it with green. Oh well. Looks good. Thank you. Well, that's my plus signs. It is. Yeah. I drew that. You did, didn't you? Mum drew this stencil. Ooh, pretty stencil. Yeah, are you going to go and clean your teeth? It's time for you to go and clean your teeth, Bobbin. Oh, no, it's not that I don't like you, you know, leaning against the arm that I'm trying to palette knife with. That would never be the case. Don't you dare throw into fire upon me with my water bottle. <laughs> Wait, have you moved on to a new colour? Nearly. Why? I mean, a different colour book. No. Oh. No, no, no. That's still... very sad. You're still on yellow? Yes, I'm still on yellow. Wait, how many pages until you're up to green? A few. Uh, Tell me when you're up to blue or green. I'll um, be watching, little buddy. I have no doubt, but you know where you could watch from? What? The bathroom where you can clean your teeth. Okay. Yeah, she is supposed to be going to bed. Dad's telling you to go to bed on the video. He's watching you. Her answer to that was just, oh dear, Dad. She's not at all afraid. What are you going to do to me? Mm. Not 
One bit afraid. Confidence of a lion. Literally. Right. So we now have got this here. And then I think if we actually come in with I think so. We're just going to dry this real quick so we don't get the black everywhere. Got that one. Let's just see where we're going to come and put all of our bits and pieces. Okay. All right, we do need a few more things in the background before we stick these down, but at least we know kind of what we're looking for, I think. So let's come in. No puddings are great. <laughs> Dad. So we're just going to grab some gesso on our big flat tip here. Just going to come in. And do a bit of these straight downwards. Really try and dry brush it on so we get a bit more of the texture. Okay, there we go. Just kind of create a little bit more difference in between the frame and the background. And then if we just stick a little that one there properly. Come in here. The gray would say are brown. Oh, it's terracotta here, this color. And just add it to a nice paper and then that. And 
then add that terracotta also over this way here. Carols, that's okay. Oh, and hello, Bronnie. No. Okay. the screen now. Put the white label on the screen here. I'm bring that the frame is very wet. And I think we just grabbed our yellow. And where is a point to brush? It's clean. It's just nice and clean. We're just going to come in now and just. Come in and. Down. And then just a little bit more here. Right, and there we are. So that's what it looks like so far after we added all the paint colours. And let's just dry that real quick. And then I think we're ready to stick on our collage bits and let's mingle them a little bit.
All right, there we go. So let's just add a little bit more. Actually, maybe into our palette. And grab our bits and pieces. So we thought about this one going up here, didn't we? So we just put on a fair amount of gel medium. Go back. Uh, and then slide down in. And then just rub as we go. back put that one on top there and just the more gel meaning you have on the back the better you can able to feather it out into the background And you want to remember the circle motions along the edge, but you don't want your fingers to be dry. You want to have a little bit of glue on the edge of your fingers. That just means then that you're not going to lift the grass paper back up or um, tear it in case you, know, you don't want to tear it. So like, for example, sorry, so that's one that we've stuck down and that's the other two. So I think they're looking pretty good. So I'm just going to come and do that a few more times before sticking down our um, gum nuts. Come and stick that one down there. Actually, let's lift that one up. And then add this one in. Um, and then, uh... Oh, thank you, Diane. Okay, so we got that one. And we just come and add this one in here. And then we go. We add another one. Okay. 
maybe just there. I think that looks pretty nice. I don't know if we need any more flowers. Like, I don't think so. And then if we just... Just add in terracotta there, I think, just to really blend in those ones. And I think if we grab some of this marigold color. Just come in with our paintbrush. So really trying to combine all the different layers by doing a bit of collage and then a bit of painting and then a bit of collage and then a bit of painting. Amazing what the white does. There we go. Now let's stick down our gum nuts, I think. I think we're ready. Let's just heat that for a quick minute so it doesn't get over wet.
so I really concentrated on drying where I put that watercolour back down uh, where I put that terracotta in over top of the rice paper just because I know that's probably what's going to take the longest to dry. So just concentrating the heating on that part so then we could come in and do the next bit without worry too much. All right, let's lay out where we're going to do. I think we're going to stick these on moulding paste again just to get a bit more of a... Um, lift on them Them on there, or like we've got five on there. I think we need any more. Do you guys think? Do you reckon? What if we switch this one around? Nope, that one definitely needs to be there. If we put that one there, like so, with this one here. I think that might be pretty good. Oh, good night, Pam. I think that might be really good. Oh, what if we stick one there? Mm, no, it feels like a bit too much. Just all of them there, and then well, we've got a few extras. Then, oh, thank you. Let's grab our modeling paste because we want a bit of lift and our palette knife, but not the one we use in black that could end badly, you know, just a little bit. Once again, just coming around in the back. And then there we go. And now Got that all done. I actually think I like that. I was worried. I'm worried about everything that we've had. Anyway, now let's come in with just a little bit of yellow. So there's a bit of contrast. Uh, up. And just make it so there's a little bit of yellow coming out of that one as well. So I'm using this watercolour with mainly no water at all. So then it's nearly pure pigment. 
This just helps it get that really brightness to it. And it's also being mixed at the same time with just a little bit of modeling paste coming out from underneath the gum nuts we just stuck down to really get that. Of difference and if we come in with this darker blue now the framed one here Just a little bit I think we might be nearly done. I am kind of kicking myself that I forgot to bring home a chipboard word or like a word that could be stuck there. We could paint one. It is very wet there right now though, so I don't really want to add any more paint in the middle. I might come back in and paint it next week just because it is very wet like I'm talking yeah I'm still able to move the gum nuts um so I think that's us let me just give you some bit more close up so you can see all the layers so I do like it I think it turned out right quite well the framing technique um uh so thank you all for coming sorry i'll just have a bit of a blank moment there thank you all for coming i'm gonna do the mixed media bundle for this after of course i wash my hands because if i touch my laptop currently it's gonna end up with everything on it um but thank you all for coming uh we will be back tomorrow morning at 9 30 a.m for mom's car making class in the september subscription group um for you who bought a subscription of the last week or some kits over the last week i'll be email i'll be messaging you soon to make sure that you've gone to the group um and uh so thank you all very much and um yeah we will see you when we see you next on one of our videos because we have plenty more coming this week so thank you all for coming and have a great week bye stay safe